Alright, what's up animators? So today I'll show you how to make an animation like this using a basic shape tween similar to that old school uh, Windows screensaver, the flower box 3D version right there. I'll show you guys the 2D uh, Adobe Animate version of that keeping everything flat instead of having a uh, three-dimensional objects there. <clears throat> Alright, so let's go back over here. Let's get started. I'm going to file new. And uh, I want to go with 30, frame, uh, 30 frames per second. So frame rate at 30, action screen 3.0. All these are good. Create. Here we go. All right. Well, let me uh, I can leave it like that. So first, what I want to do is make my stage black. So over here on the Properties panel, make sure I have Doc selected there. And then click inside the white bar right here next to Stage and select black there. Boom. All right. And then I'm going to make a square in the center. And that square will be my guide so I can get the consistent size for all the shapes here. So I'm going to go over here to the shape tool, hold down the left mouse button, select rectangle, and I'm going to go with white. I'm going to go with white because if you look at these colors here, these are actually all the six colors of that uh, flower box. It goes through all these three right here. I looked it up, I researched it, I studied it, and that's what um, that's the three colors it displays. So I'm going with a white box right here, white for fill. No stroke, I don't need the stroke, no stroke there. And hold on the shift key and just make a rectangle in here somewhere in the center. So it depends how big you want your animation to be. I guess that's cool right there. I'm gonna go over here to selection tool. I'm gonna right click it. And I'm gonna go over here to align. Put it right in the center, horizontal center. Right click it again, align, vertical center. There it is right in the center. And I'm gonna lock that layer up right there. That's just gonna be used as a guide. And I want this animation to be 120 frames long, which means it'll be uh, 30 frames per second. So that'll be a six second animation. So I'm gonna right click right here inside of 120, insert keyframe. There we go. And now I'm gonna add a new layer. So this one is gonna be my background layer or guide, reference, whatever. I'm gonna call it guide, enter. A new layer here, double click inside there. This will be my shapes layer. Shapes, all right. Notice I locked that layer up, I locked that layer up. Currently, I'm at frame 120. Let's go back over here to frame one. Frame one right here. All right. And now I'm going to make uh, my first shape. So I'm start out with the circle. I'm going to right click in here. Sorry, left click in there. Hold on the left mouse button. Oval tool. And I'm going to go over here to fill. No stroke, no stroke, no outline, no border. I'm going inside fill. I'm going to work my way down from here. So I'm going to start with red first. There we go. And I'm going to try to make a circle as big as this square right here. And make sure you're doing this in a separate layer. Hold on the shift key and drag out. I'm just have a hole in there right now. Looks about right. I'm gonna go over here to free transform tool. I'm gonna click in this and try to adjust it there. And there we go. So looks like I got it on the first try. So it should be approximately not perfect. Maybe I'm a little bit off somewhere. Yes, yeah, there's a little bit of a gap in there. Uh, let me right click it and align it in the center, horizontal center. Right click it again, align vertical center. Click out of there. Cool, that looks good. All right. So there's my first shape, circle. And I'm gonna right click at 10 right here. Frame 10, enter keyframe. So copy that red circle all the way to frame 10. Now I'm gonna copy it all the way over to frame 20. Right click at frame 20, enter keyframe, there we go. So from frame one to nine, I'll have a red circle. And then later I'll insert a shape tween in here from 10 to 19, as you can see right here. So um, every 10th every, um, frame, I have a shape tween. So just these different brackets here. So every 10th frame, is another bracket for my animation there. So in between these different shapes are my uh, my, my shape tweens. So circle, star, square, then it starts again, circle, star, square, and in between I have the shape tweens there. All right, so over here to frame 20, frame 20, here we go, I'll click inside frame 20. I'm gonna delete the circle. Well, I'm in frame 20. I'm gonna make a new shape here. The next shape over is star. So I'm gonna click right here on my shape tool, poly star tool. And down here inside the uh, tools panel, sorry, the tools section, tools menu here in the properties panel, make sure your style is star, five pointed star. You can change the point number if you'd like. It's your, your star. And I'm going to change the color of it. Now I'm going to click inside fill right here and I'm going to work my way down. So next is green. You go sample green. And I'll try to make a star the size of this right here. Hold on the shift key, hold on the left mouse button, drag. I'm just have a in there right now. Maybe it's like that. Um, over here, free transform tool, click on it, and we rotate it. Actually, I guess I'd have to leave it like that. Undo. I can flip it upside down. Yeah, I'll do that. Flip it upside down. 
There we go. And it looks a little too big. So I'm going to hold on the shift key and select one of these here. I actually should probably line up one of the corners. There we go. Hold on the shift key. Hold down left mouse button here and drag inward. All right, now I'll try to center it. Now it looks a little too small. So let me try to make it bigger. Hold on the shift key. Pull this out. That's probably it right there. Right click, align, horizontal center. Right click, align, vertical center. There we go. Let me click out of there. A little bit out. That's cool. It's um, good enough, right? So approximately the same size. So for 20, I'm going to frame 30. Right click on frame, frame 30. Enter keyframe. So I just copy that star over to frame 30. So for, um, here's my brackets, shape tween, and then the shape tween in here. So over to 40 over here, right click, insert keyframe. Now I'm going to delete it, and I'm going to bring in the square. So I delete that, and hold on the left mouse button right here on the shape tool, rectangle tool, and the new color up is blue. Hold down the shift key, hold down the left mouse button, and drag across, just cover up that white square there, boom, you got it there. And then I'm going to right click over on 50 so I can bring that over. Next one over right here. Right click, insert keyframe. And then at 60, it's going to be um, this one again over here. So I'm going to right click in there. Or actually, what I can do is I'm going to right click in there, insert keyframe. And then here's where I make the, um, the circle. But I'm going to do something else. So I'm going to actually gonna click there. Hold on the shift key. Click over, I'll copy that one first, or no. Yeah, let's copy it. Right click, copy frames. I'm gonna go over here to 60. I'm gonna paste it right there over 60. Paste frames, red circle, but it's supposed to be a different color. I'll change it later. I'm gonna select all these there. I'm gonna hold on the shift key. I have 60 there selected. Hold on shift key, left click there. I just selected all those there. I'm gonna right click, copy frames. There we go, I'm gonna go over here. I'm gonna paste it over this one. I should have pasted it over that one. Right click, paste frames, and let's see what I got over here, what's going on. And now I'm going to get rid of these over here. Let me undo that. I'm going to go over to frame 60, and um, I'm actually going to copy this frame right here, the first one, because 60 is going to go back into a circle. So I got square there from 40 to 49, then from 50 to 60, it'll start to shape tween into a circle. I'll change the color of it in a bit. So right click it there, copy frames. We're here to 60, 60, there we go, right click. Paste frames, and I already got it selected because my frame is selected there. Tool, click on fill, and the next color there is yellow. And it didn't work. Let me try it again. There we go. It's object. It's under object, not tool. Fill yellow. There we go. And now over to 70. Still got the uh, the yellow square there. So I'm going to just insert keyframe, and it's going to copy whatever I have at 60 there. Right click, insert keyframe. There it goes. And then over at 80, I need the, um, the star. So I'm going to right click there on frame 20, copy frames. I'm going to go over here to 80, right click, paste frames. And I'm going to go over here to object, click on the fill color. So I think I did yellow last, now it's time for blue. There we go. And copy that over to 90 right here. Right click, paste frames. There we go. Let me just check out my sequence here. All right, so these first 20 should be red, red circle, and then the next 20 green star, the next 20 blue square, and then the next 20 a circle, the next 20 a star. So I need one more star 100 frames later. So right here at, uh, sorry, 20 frames later, 10 frames later over here. So 20 frames with the same shape there. Enter keyframe. There we go, got the green star there. I actually need to change the color now. What happened? I didn't change the color there. All right, let me go over to object fill and the next color was blue 100 there i'm gonna let's see i got the star there star and over here the next shape which is a square so where's the square there's my square i'm gonna right click it copy frames 100 right here i'm gonna paste it in there paste frames and then go to object change the color here of my square and the last color there is pink and i'm gonna insert it again at frame uh 110 right here it's gonna paste it Sorry, not paste it. Insert a keyframe. It's going to copy over frame 100. Because if I paste the frame, it's going to paste the other blue one that I had earlier. So I've got to insert it right here at 110. Right click, insert keyframe. There we go. And then finally, we got the red uh, circle right here. I'm going to copy that one, copy frames, copy frames. I'm going to paste it right here at 120, paste frames. 
paste frames. There we go. Cool. All right. And so um, cool thing is by having this red one here is the last one is if you notice here from one to nine, it's actually nine frames, whereas all these other ones start at zero. So from zero to nine, so right here, 10 to 19, is actually 10 frames. And so by having this one in here, add the uh, the 10th frame for the red circle there. All right, so every uh, every other bracket, we're gonna shape tween, right click, create 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 shape tween. There we go. So let me uh, activate the loop right here. Pull this all the way back. This one all the way forward. I'm just holding down the left mouse button on there to do that. Play button. Let me go change the shapes. <clears throat> all right. So let's go right here. 60. So the first 60 are the first three original shapes. So right here I have the circle. Then I have the star. Then I have the square. And then I start over again. I just change it up to the other three colors. So I can just loop it right there, that section there. You also could have just made these and then copy and paste them. And then you can go in back and individually change the color on these. Because you can still go back and make individual changes on these keyframes. For instance, I can move this out over here in that frame. It's going to animate that. See? So you can do something like that. A little more work, so trying to keep it simple. All right, so I don't need that guide anymore. I can uh, delete the guide, the guide layer. So I'm gonna trash it. Control Enter, and there we go. If you want to share this on social media or email it to somebody, you want to share it, you're gonna to want to go over here to File, Export, and then Export Video Media, and then you get the uh, MIDI encoder. And it'll allow you to export the uh, animation as an MP4. There we go. Thank you for watching. Have an awesome day. If you like to support the channel, please like, subscribe, leave a like, leave a comment. Anything helps. Take care. Bye.